Yo team, it's winter time and you know what that means, glow bugs. If you want the best packages, make sure you go to New Zealand Fishing Fly's Facebook page, check out the Tongariro special and the glow bug special and get into it. Enjoy the video. Well, what's going on here? Ah, there you go, all good. We sorted. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys how I tie my rigs up. Um, well, my, my check nymph rig to be exact here in the uh, back country. I know that Ollie has done, here comes Gabe, I know has, I did a, a, a fishing with uh, Ollie Bassett, who by the way is going to represent New Zealand in the New Zealand Youth Champs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think he needs a bit of coin. So if you've got a bit of coin and you want to support uh, Ollie, I'll leave a link in my uh, description. Go check out his GoFundMe page, he needs a bit of coin to get over there. So um, yeah, support the kids. And uh, I'm sure Ollie's gonna do pretty well over there. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, Ollie did a demonstration on how he set up his uh, check them front. And since I'm checking them today, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up mine. I've just snapped off. Oh, that's a bloody nice fish, mate! I just snapped off, so I got a tie up. So I've got three strands of check them indicator to my Euro nymph. Uh, Rio, Rio Hero line. Um, so, got, got that, tied on. Gonna get my Black Magic 8 pound reception. And we're on about 6 foot, so I'm about 6 foot, so I'm using a full arm length of it. And, oh, maybe a little bit more. Maybe 7 or 8 foot. Okay, just because we're in the back country, there's a lot of water in the system at the moment as well. Um, well, ah, normally, so we're going to go a bit longer, so we'll, we'll say 7 to 8 foot. Um, I don't know if I've showed you this guy's not, I honestly can't remember, but the way I tie my indicator line to my main line is I just put them together around my two fingers, around, creates a bit of a loop. Go around and around and around and around and around and around and around five times and then it creates a bit of a loop then. I just put this finger in the loop and then pull with this side because then you don't waste as much line on the tagging. So, pull it, makes a nice, nice little knot there. Oh, it's not really showing up, makes a nice little knot. Got two taggings, snip them off. So now, you've got your line connected to your main line. Now, you want to create a tagging. And the way I do this is, so I've got eight pound here. So that will be what my bomb is on. And now we're gonna put on a tag in that, that my point fly is on. Okay, so I am going to use Airflow's ultra strong six pound. Take about 30 centimeters to maybe 40, 50 centimeters. Depends how high um, the fish are eating in the water column. Usually in the back country, they can eat higher than places like the Namata where you want it on the bottom. So you yeah, go a bit longer, so I'll say 40, 50 centimeters. Put that off, and we're just going to do the same knot again that we did to connect uh, this to the indicator. So, as I say, up together, go to the, the other end um, of, of the line, wrap around so you've got two long taggings, and you want to. Do the same. One, two, three, four, five. One. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Boom. Once again, pulling. And now we're going to cut the small tag. So you'll end up with three seconds there's two there one there I'm gonna bust the small one off bang and now you want to find the light leader and you want to cut that possibly in half I'd 
say. So, cut that about there. 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 So, oh, I might have cut a little bit too much off. Oh, that's right. So you want to get your, choose two nymphs. I choose one real heavy nymph, which is our chicken nymph. From the bottom. So, here I have the squirmy worm. That's, <laughs> that's the colour. If you want to make these, let me know. I can tell you how. I can also do a tutorial. But also, to get the material, go to uh, Talpo Rod Reel and Tackle. I think that's what they call. Yeah. Anyway, go to them. Get the squirmy worm stuff. It's like five bucks a packet. Cheapest chips, and uh, you can create an uh, easy, easy fly that will always produce fish, no matter what. And if your goal is just to catch fish, you need to have a swim worm in your pocket. Anyway, so we've threaded it, this is how I tie. We're going just around seven times, I think, back through, back through, clinch knot. I'm pretty sure it's called a clinch knot. You guys should know that by now. Bang, clinch knot, snip that off, that's our bomb, and then at the top you have your point fly, which um, can be a lighter fly, which is my, and I am going for, at the moment, going for Gabe's Otter Egg, oh, it's not really showing, Gabe's makes Otter Egg, so we've got him to make me a few as well, so we're going to tie in Gabe's Otter Egg and smash into it. See if that goes. And if not, I will probably tie on a New Zealand Fishing Flies copper wallet because that has been producing really, really well as well. Especially in the winter time, been fishing real good. So, I'm going to tie this on and then we're good to go. That through there. Put it around seven times or whatever it is. Back through, back through, and we're done. Gabe got his fish. I hope he took a photo. If he did, this is what it looked like. Up here. Bing! And then clip the tag in off, and then voila! And then that is my chicken up freak. So you got about, yeah, 30 centimeters up. Got the worm on, got the glow bug, and that's gonna catch my fish, and that's all I'm using. Well, I'm going to start off with it. But, hope you enjoyed that little tutorial.